What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I know I've been going for a long time, a couple of weeks. So, as you know, uh, I did uh, have a daughter uh, two weeks ago. She was born a little premature, about two weeks premature. So, she had to stay in the hospital for the last two weeks to basically catch up to where she would be if she was totally legit. So, I had to be at the hospital for the last two weeks. That's where I've been at. So it's not like I was like kicking and chilling, eating hamburgers and doing whatever I want to do. I was actually hanging out with my daughter. So uh, glory to God, uh, she she actually caught up super fast and they were able to let her go early because she wasn't supposed to come out till January. So that's totally a blessing. I don't care what no one says. Jesus is awesome. Yeah, I said his name. Jesus is awesome. So yeah, she totally just jumped. They were like, this is ridiculous how fast this girl is moving. And so I was able to bring her home yesterday. So now I'm back and now I can actually do work because I finally don't have to be in the hospital any longer. Any longer. Glory to God. Now, let me tell you guys what's going on in gaming news right now. Uh, just in case you guys were wondering, it does look like a new Tomb Raider is coming. I figured they were going to make a new one, but yeah, it looks like it's been officially announced. So it looks like Square Enix did decide to tweet everybody and tell them that Square Enix is excited to share some big news with you next year. Honestly, we wish we could share with you right now, but we're taking a new approach this time. A uh, new Tomb Raider game is coming. Driven by our goal, putting our fans first, we want you to know that it won't be very long between the official reveal and when you can play. Our journey together will begin in a major event in 2018. We simply can't wait to take you on Laura Croft's Defining Adventure. This is basically them telling you, hey, this game is going to be coming out either. They're going to probably announce the E3 and probably have it coming out next year. Now, whether or not this may have something to do with maybe the rumors of a PlayStation 5 or something like that, we don't know. But I'm pretty sure they might announce a PlayStation 5 next year. I'm willing to bet they're probably going to at least announce it. It may not come out next year, but I think at E3, they're going to just slam everybody with a brand new PlayStation 5. I think they're going to do it. They already said it's been in, in development, so this will give them about a year for it to come out. Now, moving on from that news, just in case you guys are wondering, it does look like uh, Sony is officially giving Nintendo kudos. They're, they're, they're seeing them as a legitimate competitor. Sony has said we cannot ignore the Nintendo Switch. Now, I know what you're thinking. Everyone ignores Nintendo because they're, they're Nintendo. They don't even try. They just make things without any effort. They're like, hey, I wanted to give you guys a tablet with no storage and like the bare minimum graphics to be considered somewhat next gen. And then we're going to throw a gimmick on it with sliding controllers. And then, hey, we can charge 300 bucks for it. And everyone was like, I got to get this. And people were like, wait, wait, when you got like the Xbox One X with like the awesome 4K and the PlayStation 4 Pro and they're like, no, 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 no. We want this random thing that's weaker than like a cell phone. I know, I know, it's totally weird. It has less storage. But yes, it does like Sony's acknowledge them as a real competitor. Uh, this time, uh, Sony said that they are basically kicking butt right now. They just made it to 70 million sales of the PlayStation 4. Uh, it was at 60 million in June, and now it's at 70 million. And it looks like they're finally giving some kudos to Nintendo. They said, uh, our gaming business, the sales of the PlayStation 4 are strong heading into the holidays, but we can't ignore the Nintendo Switch which has also captured uh, consumers' attention. Our business model involves selling both games, blah, 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 subscription services, blah, 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 but they have acknowledged them as a legitimate competitor at this time, which basically means that uh, Sony and Xbox have like a certain decision to make. They can either, one, continue to ignore the Nintendo Switch, which would be foolish, as we all have ignored them, now they're paying attention. So that means Sony may try and bootleg and make their own type of sliding thing, controller thing that may be like a PlayStation Vita on a PlayStation 5 controller or something like that. Something really cool. They could probably get away with it. Microsoft, not so much. They pretty much threw everything in one basket with the Xbox One X, but that doesn't mean they cannot come with an Xbox One Classic, not like the games you can buy, but like a mini one. I honestly think Sony and uh, Microsoft should come out with a miniature version of the consoles, just like Nintendo did. Yes, you're going to take a lot of heat for being like copycats, but you know what? They got little tiny Sega ones that's been out forever, so technically uh, Nintendo copied off of them. Just putting it out there. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holla at y'all later.